Hi everyone, it's Moonlight Mason and in this video I'm going to be talking about three rituals that has to do with pee pee, <laughs> your pee pee, um, coffee cans and um, three claps in the kitchen. Now, they're not related. Three separate rituals that I grew up with. Do you want to know what they are? <laughs> Keep watching. Hi everyone, it's Moonlight Mason, and if you're here for the first time or, you, or you've visited me before, please do subscribe and share my video if you think it'll help others in this video. I am sharing with you three rituals that we used to do when I grew up and you know my sister and I thought it was normal because I'm sure that there are things that you know you do in your house your culture you know or around the world you know there are tribes out there that have their rituals you know like like women being circumcised and there's all kinds of people and this is just me so the first one we're going to talk about is peeing in a bucket okay so um I remember being highly upset when I got older and I uh, started my period. No, wait, was it when I started my period? No, I don't think it's when I started my period. It's not. It's when I started just starting to develop and started to change. Like, like maybe like, I don't know how old I was. I don't know. I don't, I think maybe like five or six years old. That's still a, real, a little child though. Anyways, my dad used to have what's called escupidera. Now we used to call it the escupidera. I don't know what it's called these days, but it's made out of tin, okay? It's like, if you're Puerto Rican, you know what I'm talking about, but it's like, um, like a, it's like a, think of a, a bucket, but it's not a bucket because it's not that deep. It's actually probably like this deep, okay, made out of tin. It's it kind of looks like a like a pitcher, but it's 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 really short and squatty with a hand, handle on it. You know, it's got a handle, and if I could find one, which I doubt because I don't know the name for them in English, you know, I don't. But anyways. So, um, older people would take that to bed with them to pee. That's where you pee, I guess, especially if you were a man. So my dad um, used to take the escupidera with him. But here's the thing. My sister and I, um, my parents <laughs> had my sister and I pee in this, to, you know, one would pee and then the other one would pee into this escupidera, okay, that my dad would heat up on the stove, then he would get a towel, like a like a hand towel, and he would um, soak it in the warm urine. But you can only do this when you're a child, because <laughs> when you get older and you grow up, you don't do it anymore. And I remember I got upset, because I wanted to pee in the bucket, but I was too old. And so he, my dad, getting back to the story, my dad would get a hand towel, soak it in the urine, squeeze it out and then fold it and then put it right here on his forehead. This was a remedy for um, headaches, I think. I think it was for headaches because if you got a bloody nose, which I never did. I don't think my sister ever got one. My dad did get bloody no noses though. And so when he got a bloody nose, you get a penny and you put right here. That's just another one that just came to me that wasn't in my original three, but that was my first one is pee it in the bucket. The second ritual that I would like to share with you guys today is um, coffee cans. And so I'm talking about the big, huge, like um, Folgers. They were, it was like, I think Folgers coffee cans. They're kind of round like this and they're made out of metal. So what my parents would do with these coffee cans is after they were empty, you get the, um, you know, the thing that opens the, the cans, you know, and you would 
cut around the whole lid of the coffee can and you would end up with a round, you know, tin lid, the, 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 like the top of it or the bottom of it. And then you get a hammer and, and some nails. Well, one nail, I guess, would do. And what you do is you put the nail, you put the, 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 the lid, right, on the ground, and then you get a nail, and then you um, do a hammer with it so that, and you keep doing it all over the coffee cans so that when you flip it over, you have these little, really sharp little pricks all over the place. You know, they're real sharp prick, pricks from that, like, tin or metal, like, pricking up, you know, from the, from the nail. Two of those in the corner, on your knees. That was a punishment. <laughs> that was ritual number two. Hey guys, I am going to talk about ritual number three, but not before I take a bite of one of these. Now these cookies, I don't get paid by these people or anything like that. They're so good. Mm. They're super, super soft. These are not crisp. These aren't hard. These are chocolate chip, cookie dough, Hail Mary, freedom to, to indulge, cookies, oh, mm. wonderful. I'm having some tea. Mm. Okay. I don't like eating and talking and doing it this way. Number three, the kitchen is closed in three claps. When my mom, okay, so my mom cooked dinner every single night, usually typical, typical Puerto Rican cuisine, but I had parents that were both absolutely wonderful, wonderful cooks. Like the food that I grew up with was really, really good. My dad in on the weekends used to spend three hours making oatmeal, stirring it like this with milk and cinnamon and vanilla and cloves, okay? And he used to make this oatmeal, girl. And then my mom and, and her uh, arroz blanco, her arroz blanco man, everyone knew about mom and her arroz blanco. They still know about her, you know, white rice. It's so good. Don't even taste like white rice that you know of. She used to put like lard in it. It was good too, but anyways, so my mom, every single night would, you know, do the dishes or we would help or we would do the dishes, whatever. And then she would, um, sweep, mop the white linoleum floors and do whatever. Everything was just to perfection. So clean like a magazine. And when you heard the three claps. She would make an announcement and the announcement is the kitchen is closed now when mom said the kitchen was closed she meant that it was closed so if you wanted to get a drink or get a snack or go in the fridge or do whatever you had to do and she saw you she, it would be like like a big um you know like it, it it would literally be like say there were like 10 cats and they got into a big cat fight have you ever heard two cats in a cat fight before <laughs> magnified by 10 like she would totally freak out on you and so you know we, she didn't want anything messed up i don't know what it was i used to sneak in there because we had a pantry um, a beautiful pantry. I grew, my, the house I grew up in was an eight. I have a video that I probably could link if I could find it, but uh, it's a really cool video because it shows you a picture of the house and it was like, it's now a historical landmark and it was like built in the 1800s and it's this huge, beautiful Victorian house with stained glass windows and it was just amazing. It was amazing even though everything was like falling Everything was falling, like plaster, holes in the ceiling. We didn't have central heating. We had to stand in front of a wood stove to get, you know, warm. Um, we never slept between sheets because it's too, too cold. So you sleep between blankets. Uh, we always had two refrigerators. I'm not quite sure why, but we did have two refrigerators. And anyways, getting back to the three claps in the kitchen. So 
I would sneak in there and I would get a glass and then I would get um, those graham crackers, you know, and I would stuff them in a glass, in a glass like this big, like this big, right? And I'd put in the graham crackers and then I would get a spoon and I'd write crunch, 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 crunch. And then I would pour milk in there and And then I would crunch, oh my God, that was like my best, best food ever. And I used to eat that before going to bed and I never really got caught because <laughs> mom would have had a fit. Hey you guys, I shared with you three rituals that are pretty unusual, I would say, um, that I grew up with. And if you would like to share yours and comment below, that would be totally great. And uh, yeah, I just thought you guys would enjoy this video. And if you did, you can share it and uh, comment and like and do all those nice things. It would be so cool to just get more engagement. If you like me, do subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!